These three scrambled egg dishes were made by three of the best chefs in the entire world. Well, actually they were made by me, but the recipes are from the three best chefs in the entire world. So today we're putting Gordon Ramsay against two of the best chefs in the entire world to see whose scrambled egg recipe tastes the best and which one is the best to make at home. Everyone knows that Gordon Ramsay can make some amazing scrambled eggs. In fact, his scrambled egg recipe might be the most famous egg recipe in the entire world. But what a lot of people don't know is there's actually two other chefs whose restaurants were both ranked number one in the world who have their very own scrambled egg recipes, which might even be better than Gordon's. Thomas Keller, who runs the three Michelin star restaurant, The French Laundry, and the mad scientist chef, Heston Blumenthal, who runs another three Michelin star restaurant called The Fat Duck. So what are the best scrambled eggs for us to make at home? Let's find out. We have to start with the man himself, the most recognizable chef on planet Earth, Gordon Ramsay. His scrambled egg recipe is pretty simple. You crack five eggs directly into the pan, then you add, according to him, a knob of butter, which I figured out is around two tablespoons, and then you turn the heat on to medium. This is where that sweet Gordon Ramsay magic kicks in. You start it on the heat, and as the eggs start to set, you take it off the heat and continue stirring for about 20 to 30 seconds. Then you bring it back onto the heat and you continue stirring and repeat this process until the eggs are cooked to your liking, usually about four minutes in total. By the way, we still haven't seasoned the eggs yet. There's literally no salt or pepper in these eggs just yet. Once your eggs are cooked however much you want, immediately take it off heat and add in some creme fraiche into your scrambled eggs. This stops the cooking process so the eggs don't overcook in the pan. Ooh, just look at how beautiful these scrambled eggs are. This is also where you'll salt and pepper your eggs, and to finish, you put it on some toasted sourdough bread, top with chives, and you're done. Thomas Keller, it is time for your showdown with Gordon Ramsay. In this recipe, you not only crack all of the eggs into a separate bowl, but you also, wait for it, season them before cooking, which would put Gordon Ramsay in his grave, and then you whisk them thoroughly. And if you thought whisking already was overkill, we're gonna take it one step further. This recipe calls for straining the eggs so you can remove any of those larger lumps and have a really nice and smooth egg mixture. After that, you melt some butter on very low heat, a knob of butter is fine here too, and then add your eggs. Once they start to set, gently scramble them until they're cooked to your liking. Then, and this will sound familiar, take it off heat and immediately add some creme fraiche to stop that cooking process once again. Thomas Keller adds flaky salt and Italian parsley and puts it on top of some toasted brioche instead of sourdough bread, and voila, these scrambled eggs are done. Now Gordon Ramsay and Thomas Keller are both pretty classical French trained chefs. I've been lucky enough to dine at both of their restaurants and their menus are very classic, but just executed to perfection. But our next contender is the complete opposite of that. He's known for extremely scientific cooking, using things like liquid nitrogen and centrifuges in the kitchen. Heston Blumenthal is the king of food science and is one of the craziest chefs the world has ever seen. He's quite literally a mad scientist. But can he make a normal scrambled egg recipe that we can make at home? And can it really be better than both Gordon's and Keller's? Heston's recipe starts off pretty normal. You crack a bunch of eggs into a bowl. Nice, we didn't get any shells in there. Add a little bit of milk, cream, and butter, and then season with salt and pepper. Then you whisk it together to get it nice and smooth. Seems pretty normal, right? Well, the next step is to set up a bain-marie, which is essentially just taking the bowl with your egg mixture and setting it on top of a pot of simmering water. What this will do is cook your eggs indirectly, with only the heat coming from the water instead of directly from the fire source itself. It cooks the eggs really gently, and as a result, this recipe takes by far the longest. You'll be cooking these eggs for about 15 to 20 minutes. But that's actually a good thing because it gives us time to prepare our topping, which is a beurre noisette, which is basically brown butter. Actually, it literally is brown butter. You take some butter, cook it in a small saucepan on medium heat, and wait until it turns brown and has a really beautiful nutty smell. You want to watch this carefully because it starts as butter, turns to brown butter, and if you don't watch it, then it could turn to black butter, which is not very yummy. It's quite bitter. After your butter has browned, you pour it through a cheesecloth or coffee filter to remove some of those impurities, and then you're left with this beautiful golden brown liquid of deliciousness. Oh my god. By now, your eggs are probably close to being done, so just keep stirring until they're cooked to your liking, and then take the bowl off heat. 
put it on some sourdough bread, top it with the bird noisette, and bam, bam, Heston Blumenthal scrambled eggs are done. Now, if you're thinking, why are we making scrambled eggs so complex? It's one of the simplest dishes out there. Well, you have a fair point. Scrambled eggs are really just eggs cooked with salt and pepper in a pan. But even with a recipe this simple, there are a few ways that chefs differ in how they cook their eggs. The first is temperature. Gordon Ramsay likes to have his eggs on medium heat and then alternate when the eggs are on and off the heat. Thomas Keller likes to cook things low and slow on a very low heat, but keep the eggs on the heat the entire time. And Heston Blumenthal takes it to the extreme by not even using any direct heat for his scrambled eggs at all. The second is the egg preparation. Gordon Ramsay doesn't separately whisk his eggs. Thomas Keller whisks and then strains his eggs, and Heston Blumenthal adds milk and cream and butter to the egg mixture itself. Each one results in a different type of scrambled egg at the end. And finally, they differ on what they pair the eggs with. Gordon likes chives, Thomas Keller likes parsley and flaky salt, and Heston Blumenthal likes browned butter. So even though they're all scrambled eggs, they have slight differences which create pretty different results. And now it's the moment that you've all been waiting for. We're going to try all three of them and find out which one is the best. Coming in, Gordon Ramsay's scrambled eggs were the most famous, the most people knew how to make them, but Thomas Keller and Heston Blumenthal's have their own little techniques and tricks that can make them even better than Gordon Ramsay's. So again, we're going to look at two things. First, which one tastes the best? Just purely, which is the best scrambled eggs? And the second is, which is the best to make at home? Some take more time, use more dishes, whatever it might be, but if it tastes really delicious, maybe it's worth it. We're gonna start off with the incumbent, Gordon Ramsay. Mmm. Mmm. No. Oh. I, I already know that this is going to be a super tough decision because this first one already tastes so good. That creme fraiche that's added at the end, you can really taste that coming through. The chives on top, everything about this is absolutely delicious when paired with the sourdough bread. I need it. I needed another bite. Oh my God. Ah! Uh, uh. I genuinely don't know how it can get better from there, but we're gonna see if it can. The next one up is Thomas Keller's scrambled eggs. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, oh God, what the? This one from a pure taste perspective, I am sorry, Gordon Ramsay, but Thomas Keller has you beat. I mean, it's just so much smoother. It's so much creamier. The taste is really, really nice because you add that flaky salt at the end. So you get a little bit of crunch from that. You get a little bit of extra salt. I think also the pairing of brioche with this is Mwah. Chef's kiss, wow. It can't possibly get better than this, right? Mm. And finally, we have Heston Blumenthal's scrambled eggs. Holy crap. No! Heston, Heston, Mr. Blumenthal, chef, if you ever watch this video, that is sublime. Everyone, even if you don't wanna make these regularly, you need to go make these right now because it's just so different from the other scrambled eggs. This one is the most creamy by far. It's verging on like a custard. It's just that smooth. I think the addition of milk and heavy cream when you're whisking the eggs allows it to get even more smooth and creamy. The fact that it's cooked so low and so slowly over 15 minutes, which is just insane. And the best part is that bernoisette, which is the browned butter that you put on top. You get that nuttiness, you get that buttery goodness. Mm. Mr. Blumenthal knows what he's doing, for sure. So who's got the best scrambled eggs? Gordon Ramsay is the most famous, but is it actually the best? From a taste perspective, Gordon Ramsay is, is last. When you compare it to Thomas Keller's or Heston Blumenthal's, the texture, the flavors, the pairings, the way it's cooked, it just kind of falls short. But it does rank first in convenience. It uses one pan, literally that's it, one pan. You crack the eggs into the pan, you mix everything into the pan, really easy to make, it comes together in a few minutes. Thomas Keller is bang average in both. You know, it's in the middle in terms of taste, very delicious, very creamy. You get results pretty quickly, so it's pretty convenient to make. The only issue is you need a strainer and a separate bowl, so you're gonna be washing a few different dishes. And Heston Blumenthal's is the creme de la creme of scrambled eggs. It tastes the best, it has the best pairings, but it takes a lot of effort to make it. You need a few bowls and dishes and pots and pans. It'll take you 15 to 20 minutes in order to make this along with the bernoisette. If you want to impress somebody, if you want to make your family a Mother's Day or Father's Day meal, the Heston Blumenthal scrambled eggs are the ones that you should be making. So which is the ultimate one that I will be making going forward every time I want to make scrambled eggs? 
it's gonna be Thomas Keller. I'm okay with washing one or two extra dishes. It takes around the same amount of time as a Gordon Ramsay, maybe just slightly longer. Thomas Keller edges it just a little bit in terms of something that I would make every single day that tastes absolutely delicious. But don't take my word for it. I encourage you to try all three at home and decide for yourself. Let me know in the comments which one you think you'd like the best. But if you want to see more experiments and videos like this, definitely subscribe and hit that bell and I'll see you in the next one.